What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George and in this video we are going to be doing outreach to potential clients and I'm going to be using Loom for that. No, I don't waste no time. what's going on guys so like i said in the introduction today we're going to be doing some outreach uh, live outreach uh, on this channel i'm going to be reaching out to potential social media marketing clients uh, for my own agency and of course i'll bring you guys along uh, with me so basically i'm just going down my to-do list and uh, you guys can just uh, take a look and see how i do it so in terms of the loom i'll just um basically sh you know show you guys the structure of how i do it so uh, i keep the loom loom length between um, anywhere between three to six minutes why because I don't want the loom to be so long that the client loses interest um, I want you know basically the, the loom to spark interest I'm not going to pitch my service or anything like that the loom is literally just to give them a mini audit make them realize that it's not just a generic email or Facebook message depending on where you send it and uh, basically, you know, get them interested into, you know, wanting to speak to me uh, some more. And uh, basically, with the end of the loom will be a call to action to book a call with me or to hop on a quick call via Skype and discuss things further. Okay. So in terms of the loom structure, um, so loom length. Let me just move this up here. So loom structure. There we go. So loom length, three to six minutes. Um, the goal is to spark interest. And then the call to action is to uh, book a book an actual actual discovery call. Okay, so that is basically what we're going to do in terms of the actual structure. Uh, we start off with uh, complementing the current um, social media and website, um, how can we say this? Complement the current social media website uh, status. And then uh, basically what we do is we give them a mini audit of their like, socials, so of their current situation, give them a so basically from there so we start off positive then we go down um like sort of a notch and we just explain things that they could be doing better then you know we basically tap into like the emotional aspect of it and we give them a mini competitor analysis as well and we literally just give them one competitor that is doing it correctly just to show them that they are leaving money on the table and if they don't act now you know they could be in trouble okay and then we finish off with a call to action to you know book another call okay so the the this is literally the what which we call it, the four steps to a successful loom um and like i said i just send these via email um what well, i've made a mess of this here haven't i guys but we send these via email and um even facebook messenger you know some people think that you can only send loons via email but you can also do this via facebook messenger um, it doesn't really matter in terms of the Loom, you know, it just does send. And the great thing about Loom is that you get a email every single time they watch or someone views your Loom. So if you only send it to the client and the, the Loom gets viewed, chances are it's actually the client that's viewing it, um, unless they've sent it on to someone else, which is also a possibility. But, you know, let's just assume uh, that it, you know, isn't happening and it's actually the client watching the Loom. If you do not get a reply from the client, but you do see that they view the loom, then just follow up and say, hey, listen, um, I saw you view my loom. Um, would love to know your thoughts on it. If you've got any questions, please let me know. And if you're interested, um, you know, uh, would you like to hop on a call? Okay, so this is basically it for the loom structure. Um, this basically, this is like a very broad overview of the loom structure. Obviously, um, during the coaching, we've really like dissected the loom uh, to make basically, you know, make the every single loom a killer loom and to actually, you know, um, spark that interest and get that um, conversation going with the potential clients and actually get them to uh, commit to an actual call. Uh, but in today's video, I'll just give you guys a broad overview of what's going on, just so you guys can basically get the ball rolling uh, by yourselves. And like I said, 
we'll do try and get like three four looms in before we finish off this video something like that so what i'll do is i'll focus on the uk so you know speak english um and then what i'll do is i'll basically pick a um business from a couple of different industries just to give you guys a bit of an insight into how i will tackle the situation and you guys will realize that the structure stays the same regardless of the niche or the industry uh, because it literally will always come down to like these four four points so um let's start at the start let's do something in the uk um let's do driving instructors um oh driving instructors liverpool is like the first one that comes up so let's just do that uh, let's see any of these interesting enough i'm you know i'm actually hoping i hope i can actually record a loom while i'm recording my screen um because it'll be a bit of a mess if i can't actually do that so pass faster has not got a pixel and um, let me just double check actually because sometimes the ad blocker will block out the pixels don't run on this page and bl don't block ads refresh Okay, so I think they actually haven't got a pixel at all. Let's see. Nope, no pixels. Driving lessons. No pixel. Let me just see what the prices are per driving lesson. Uh, 28. 40 hours. Uh, with test is 1114. So if you can get them one client, uh, or one client, one customer that takes 40 hours with test, um, you've gained them a thousand or just over a thousand pounds um so you know if if, if you're if you charge them 500 pounds 500 ad budget they've basically broken even if they just land that one client um you know just just to show you guys understand that you can actually charge a thousand pounds a month um, and all you need to do is get them you know two three clients and they've broken even everything over that is pure profit on their their part so um you know it's definitely a good idea um, I actually thought lessons would be more expensive in the Netherlands. It's like 58 euros per lesson, um, but we can work with this. So we'll do. So we've got pass faster, which we could reach out to, and then basically what we need to do now is find a driving instructor or driving school that has a pixel or has Facebook ads. That is a bad website, by the way, guys. Like, look at that. That's like 1990. Um, let's see, page transparency. Not running ads. So we won't be doing anything with that. Follow us. Let's see if Ashley Neal driving school. This content is not available. Okay, let's just Ashley Neal driving. Let's see if we can actually find it. Um, pages. Let's see if we can find it like this. No. Surely they've got a Facebook page. Contact maybe. If not, it might have to just leave the the competitor analysis. Nah, surely we'll find some one a driving school with that's running ads. Um, driving schools, Liverpool. Um, three best driving schools in Liverpool. fast there and then we've got hard man driving school let's see what this is all about um, so it doesn't seem that they've got facebook on their page either what is with the old school um like driving school websites okay it might be best way to just do driving schools Liverpool, and then just go off the websites. Uh, go off the Facebook page. Might be easier. Maybe driving schools in the UK is not the best niche. 
in the Netherlands it's a hot hot niche definitely a good niche to go for because the lessons are so expensive so it's easy to get that return on investment um, obviously I understand it goes without saying but um, if you guys are doing looms make sure that you've only got tabs open of that one uh, driving school and that you don't have like a bunch of tabs of all different schools because obviously then they will catch on that you just do a mass outreach and um, let's see what this one is ability driving school Imagine if none of them were doing outreach, uh, or none of them were doing ads via Facebook, then obviously this is, a, this is an untapped niche, um, but obviously we can't give the competitor analysis if no one's doing ads at all. Not running ads. Not running ads. Not running ads. It's not looking good for the driving schools. Not running ads. Last one. Pass faster. That's our oh, actual one, isn't it? Um, not running ads. Okay. So we'll leave out the advertisements. Actually, we can try one more thing. Um, bit of a long shot, but we might be able to find some in the ads library driving schools uh, United Kingdom no UK driving okay so let's try some of these because these, these will be like some of the bigger ones uh, the UK's leading driving school provider are they running any ads fingers crossed no Okay, UK driving. Quick pass. No. Okay, no worries. Um, about, have they got Instagram? No, we've got an email though. And we've also possibly got... Um, the owner's personal Facebook account. Okay, so what we'll do is pass fast to driving school. We'll try and find that on Instagram, and if not, we'll just run with the Facebook and the. Okay, so let's just try and find it. Pass faster. Oh, there we go. Okay, so they have got Instagram. So this is their Instagram. Low engagement. Uh, we've got their Facebook, and then we've got the. Let's see, this is not their website. Let's get their website up again. Passfaster.org. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll remove the loom structure as well, um, and then what I'll do is I'll try and record the loom while recording uh, this video as well. So here it goes. Hi there, my name is Joshua Daniel George and I actually stumbled upon your um, like driving school website while doing some research um, into like digital marketing in you know driving schools and um, I just realized that you guys haven't got the Facebook Pixel installed um, and basically what the Facebook Pixel does is it tracks everyone that goes on to you know your website so let's say for example um, John is interested in getting driving lessons and he goes onto the website you know he's googled pass faster and he goes onto the website he goes to driving lesson prices and he sees a package for uh, 40 hours which he is interested in he thinks you know what that's that sounds like um, you know a good uh, package for me he goes to contact uh, to the contact form and for some reason he gets distracted and then he clicks the browser away and he starts doing other things and um, there's no way for you guys to then retarget John because you know you guys don't have any information on him and he was actually on the verge of uh, you know taking uh, some driving lessons with you guys 
Um, so he's basically like a lost lead, which is a shame because he was literally on the verge of uh, taking driving lessons. With the Facebook Pixel, if you guys had that installed, you could then retarget John through Facebook, Instagram, and all of like the audience networks within Facebook. Um, just to remind John that you know, you know, you were on our website, you were nearly there, uh, but for some reason you got distracted, and then you be- you can basically retarget them and get them back onto the website. Um, you know, just to give him that little push that he needs to basically enroll in into the driving lessons. Um, and that is basically what you can use the Facebook Pixel for. And the great thing is, uh, you know, if you've got the Facebook Pixel on your website for a while and it's going well, uh, you're running Facebook ads um, you know, t- to the website as well. And you've got a bunch of people that have taken uh, driving lessons, you know, ever, ever since you've been running the ads, you can then run a lookalike audience based upon the people that have previously purchased um, you know, these driving lesson packages um, to find more people with the same interests and demographics, etc. because uh, you know, those people are more likely to, to take driving lessons with you guys as well. Okay, so that is another thing that you can do with the uh, Facebook Pixel. In terms of Facebook, I also checked out your Facebook page. And uh, when I go to page transparency, I saw that you guys aren't running any ads at all, which uh, is definitely a shame because, you know, it's a great way of finding, you know, your ideal audience. So let's say, for example, uh, people that take pass faster driving lessons are between the ages of, I don't know, like 18 to 25. Um, you know, most of them are female uh, and, I don't know, they all live within... A certain radius of uh, of Liverpool, so the whole of Liverpool, for example, we can then set up ads that will only be uh, you know seen in Liverpool for that specific uh, audience, so that you know you're not spending money running ads in London, for example. So uh, you know that is again something that you can do with Facebook ads. I uh, just thought I'd give you guys a few little ideas. Um, same goes for Instagram. You know, obviously Instagram is a very visual platform, and you guys are doing a good job posting. Uh, quite often the last one was 25 minutes ago um, so you guys are quite active on instagram um, and obviously with paid traffic so uh, through facebook you can set up instagram ads as well uh, to basically increase the amount of reach and engagement that you get on your instagram page um, so that was just you know my two cents just thought i'd uh, send you guys a quick video i've got a few more little ideas but obviously you know i don't want to uh, keep you guys too long so if you're interested in um, you know hearing some more of these ideas in terms of facebook ads um then you know let's just hop on a quick call uh, we can discuss things there there um you know see if you can work something out i own a social media marketing agency so this is basically what i do on a daily basis and you know if you guys are interested we could maybe work together on this if not you've just walked away with a free consultation and you know no harm done so um yeah thanks for your time let me know i'll um basically leave my contact details um along with this email so if you are interested you can book a call thanks for your time Okay, guys, so like I said, that was a four-minute loom. Uh, I stumbled over my words uh, a few times on that video. No idea why. I think because I was, like, in my head, I was, like, uh, stay professional for the potential client, but also, you know, keeping in mind that you're also explaining this, um, you know, to your audience as well. So, um, yeah, it wasn't my best loom, but, you know, at least I got the job done. So we've got that loom. I will send that across to the client in a moment. For now, let's just find one more, uh, just so this video isn't too long. And then from there, um, you know, I'll wrap up this video. So um, I can actually click X on this because it will be saved in like in Loom. Loom is like a, it's got like a library in it as well. So we've got driving lessons or driving instructors done. Let's see what else can we do. Um, let's just stick to Liverpool for now. What should we do in Liverpool? Let's do restaurants. Restaurants Liverpool. Actually, let's do gyms. I haven't done a gym outreach in quite a while. Gyms Liverpool. Number one gym, pure gym. Um, let's see what is what is the David Lloyd lifestyles. The gym Liverpool one. Let's see what that's all about. See, Liverpool one is like a shopping centre. I'm not sure if this is. So, what's the gym called? Whether you live or work in Liverpool centre, the, the gym Liverpool one. 
Okay, I'm not 100% sure if that's actually a gym. Okay, let's just do restaurants. I can't be bothered looking through all these gyms. Restaurants, Liverpool. Um, let's see. What have you got? Silk Road Restaurants and Beetham Plaza. Actually, there's a, a restaurant that I went to a while back while I was in Liverpool. I'm actually curious if they've got um, social media. If not, we could reach out to these guys. It's like a steakhouse, unlimited. Uh, it's like all you can eat steak. Uh, let's go. Page transparency. Not currently running ads. The only thing that's put me off reaching out to these guys is a lot of footballers go to this restaurant. So they sort of get like a lot of natural, um, organic like momentum. So there's a lot of people that go there regardless of the social media. But they're not running ads, so I might as well just... Um, Suck it up and you know just reach out to them, see if they say. Worst thing that can happen is they don't reply or they say no, and you know, not the end of the world. Um, so there's in the Liverpool website. <clears throat> okay, so they have got the pixel, which is interesting. Have they got more than just the page view pixel? Let's see. Locations, Liverpool. Um. Okay, so we've got um, the Zender that we can reach out to. And then what I'll do is I'll try and find all you can eat steak Liverpool. So you can find something that sort of the same. Let's see. All you can eat meat, Copa, Gabbana, Liverpool. Let's see what this is. Um, have we not got the website? There we go. Copa, Gabbana, Website. Okay, the guy, these guys haven't even got the Facebook pixel. Then again, there's always like the off chance that they are running ads without the pixel, which is like a chicken running without a head. Page transparency, let's see what they're up to. See more, why would I not let me see more? Let's refresh the page. Not currently running ads. Okay, let's just do Steakhouse Liverpool. If we can get like a direct competitor, that would be great. Let's see what this is about. No pixel. Or we could just like flip it and then use Vizenda as like the good example. Not calling run ads. Yeah, let's do that guys. We'll use Vizenda as the as the example. Okay, so we got this one. Remove this. Get their Facebook page up and their Instagram. Just double check they're not running ads. Yep. And have they got an Instagram? There we go. That's another thing we can actually point out is that. It's just um, the location when you click on the Instagram, not the actual Instagram page. Okay, we are the big brother of Little Rasco. Let's see what that, that is. 
Little Rasco is the baby brother of the popular Churrasco Steakhouse. Okay, good to know. Okay, so we've got everything we need. And then we've got Vizenda as our competitor analysis. Okay, there we go. Take two. Hi guys, my name is Joshua Dangle George, and I um, actually found your website while doing some research into restaurants in uh, the like in the Liverpool area, and uh, I just had some ideas that I just wanted to quickly share with you guys. So I thought I'd send you a quick video rather than just spamming your inbox with emails. Um, so the first thing I noticed was that you guys don't have a Facebook Pixel installed, um, and basically what the Facebook Pixel does is it tracks. Uh, people that go onto the website. So let's say, for example, um, you know, I'm in the mood for a nice steak. Click on, you know, your website, and for some reason, something doesn't load properly, or you know, it's uh, my my cell reception, you know, internet's slow. So I leave the website. There's no way then for you guys uh, to retarget me, uh, you know, because I was literally on the verge of, um, you know, basically making a reservation for a nice steak on your website. Um, and I got distracted. There's no way for you guys then to retarget me through, you know, let's say social media uh, to say, hey, listen, you know, you're nearly there. Um, don't forget that, you know, you can still book a reservation for tonight, a reservation for two or for four, um, you know, to go to Tarasco Steakhouse. Um, and that is the great thing of having the Facebook pixel because if you do have it installed, you can do all things like that. You can uh, retarget people that have been on the website. You can retarget people that have clicked on, for example, special menus, retarget people that have made online reservations, um, or even retarget people that have already been to the restaurant and you know ask them to come again and you know I don't know maybe get a free drink or anything like that. Um, and that is basically what you can do with the Facebook Pixel. And just to show you guys, um, basically not necessarily what you're missing out on, but what other people are doing in the in you know in the area. For example, for Zender, uh, they have got the Facebook Pixel installed, and as you can see, they are tracking page views. So that means that. Everyone that is viewing any page, regardless of what page that is, is getting tracked on their website. So even if you just go onto the menu, uh, they know about it and they can retarget us at a later date. Um, same goes for reservations. Even if I just read their blog, they all know about it because they, they have that Facebook pixel installed. Um, so you know that is why I just wanted to point that out. And I you know maybe because you guys aren't running any ads at all that you guys haven't got that. Um, but it would be a you know a very effective way of getting in more clients and more you know people making reservations and coming to Tarasco if you run ads on Facebook. You know I, I obviously don't need to mention to you guys how big um, of a you know a powerhouse Facebook is nowadays, um, especially now that it's also in combination with Instagram. So if you run ads on Facebook, the ads also get shown on Instagram. Um, so it's a great way of getting you know a lot of people to know about um, your restaurants in a short amount of time and especially if you've got like an offer going or you know, some kind of like two for one or anything like that um, you know Facebook ads is definitely the, the easiest way of getting in a lot of people um, you know into your restaurant and speaking of uh, Instagram when you click on the Instagram logo on your website it takes you to like the location rather than your actual Instagram. So um, obviously you can see a lot of like photos that customers have taken, but not the actual Instagram page. So obviously if you want to grow that, um, it will be good to redirect to this. Um, so yeah, that was just a few little pointers that I had. Um, you know, I hope you find that valuable. And I've got a few more ideas. Uh, basically what I do is I, I own a social media agency where we actually run ads for restaurants uh, all over the UK and the Netherlands actually. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in hearing more about that, you know, we can always hop on a quick call, um, you know, see how things go, see if you can create that win-win situation, and maybe work together on it. If not, then, you know, no hard feelings. You guys have just walked away with a free consultation. So, yeah, let me know if you're interested in that. Uh, thanks for your time and I hope to speak to you soon. Okay, guys, so that was Loom number two. And like I said, guys, the structure literally stayed the same apart from a few little things that I changed around. Obviously, you know, I tailored this more to uh, to uh, restaurants. I showed them the, the customer uh, or like the competitor analysis. And rather than showing ads, because Vizenda aren't running any ads, 
um, I just basically double down on that pixel and show them that their competitors are basically tracking everything, um, which they are not. So that is basically how I do it. Um, like you know, this is already quite a long video, so obviously we only done two. Um, but obviously you know, I hope you got something out of this. Hope you found this valuable. Like I said, in the coaching group, we absolutely dissected looms, and you know, we made sure that each and every person in that coaching. Um, knows exactly what to say in every situation to get you know more responses from your looms. If you are interested in coaching, um, it will be all linked in the description box down below. If you're not really sure about it, or you know you're on the verge uh, or on the fence about it, but you're not really sure if it's the right thing for you, then let's just hop on a free you know 30 minute call, see if it is, um, and if not, then you know you don't have to do it obviously. Uh, but like I said, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Like the video if you got some out of it. Comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.